Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and in today's video we'll see that how to crack Google's technical interviews. So in this video we'll focus like which are the different round happens in the Google technical interviews. Now what is asked in those different round and then how we can prepare for these rounds. Right? So let's see first of all like which are the different round happens in the Google technical interviews. So let's say if you are appearing for the software engineering roles, so in this case we have different different uh, experience sets right some like some candidates are the fresher some candidates are of the level let's say three four years experience or some candidates are are even of the like 10 to 12 years experience so in this case like the first thing is that whether you are whether you have any experience google is a product based company and they focus a lot in on the logic they focus a lot on the problem solving and that's why you will see um, you will see most of the round happen for the data structure coding rounds right so basically you can expect that your three or four round will be of the coding rounds now if you are the fresher then it means your almost all the rounds will be of the coding rounds plus there can be one uh, round of the hiring manager round which can ask about you the your the behavioral questions right behavioral questions means that will see like which which are the behavioral questions are asked so if you are the fresher then it means 90 percent round will be of the coding rounds plus the behavioral questions if you even if you have the experience of let's say three to four years then also like your most of the rounds will be happen of the uh, like your data structure coding round it means you have to well proficient in that but if you have the even more experience like let's say nine years experience ten years experience or even seven years experience then you can expect some design round as well so in that case like your one round can be of the system design or the low level design right so if the point is that as you go as you go further in the experience then you can have you can have one uh, one design round consisting of the low level design or the system design but the but your most of the rounds will be of the coding rounds right so it means if you see in the in the google's technical interview your round one can be of the ds coding round one ds coding round two ds coding round three ds coding round four so it means because they take a lot of coding rounds right and that's why i have put uh, here uh, like three or four coding rounds and guys you know that's a difference between the different different companies like amazon amazon also focus on the coding round but they take around two or three rounds of the coding rounds similarly microsoft also take two or three rounds but google google focus a lot on the coding rounds right and that's why i have put from one to up to four rounds there can be happen of the coding rounds right then one round can happen of the low level design or the system design because let's say if you have 10 years experience if you have 9 years experience then definitely you will be in the architecture role or you will be senior so in that case you have to scale the system you you may have to scale the system as well right so in that case uh, system design comes a lot of handy and that's why there can be one round of the system design as well similarly there can be a round on the uh, low level design as well now there will be one round of the hiring manager round so hiring manager definitely asks on the several behavioral questions and uh, hiring manager can ask take on the feedback as well so let's see first of all like how we can prepare for the data structure and then we'll uh, come to the next rounds right so for the data structure for the data structure preparation guys like we have we have covered a very good video like how we should prepare the data structure interview right and in our in that video in that video we have covered a lot of topics and the point is we have covered in our channel you will see all these playlist we have the playlist for the array where we have several videos we, we have around 60 videos on the array we have around 30 videos on the string we have around 90 videos on the linked list we have around 90 videos on the binary tree similarly on the bht heap so on each topic we have covered a lot of questions and why i'm focusing here because google asks a lot of questions on the coding rounds and that's where you have to focus on all these questions right so in case you haven't seen this video please see that video that how we can prepare the data structure interview preparation right and then uh, you can in that video you will also see that how we should approach a coding question whenever we are solving a coding question how we should approach right so let's say whenever a question is there in front of you how you focus on that like what should be your approach let's say you are given a question that uh, how you decide that whether i should solve using the heap or i should solve via the stack and what right so in that video uh, please see that video i'll also put in the description link i will put all the videos link in the description so that you can directly see and you can uh, look into that 
so why i'm focusing more on the data structure because google ask a lot of questions so that's why please see this video and please uh, please solve the questions which is there in our in our channel so that you can have the very good knowledge on the data structure right so that's why your data structure your data structure coding round preparation is very important so from first to fourth round you have to prepare that one right next it comes the low level design in the system design now for the system design as well we have covered a very good video uh, previously so in the system design preparation like we have covered one video so again please see that video where we have exactly told uh, told that how you should prepare for the system design interviews let's say if some system design question is there how would you approach or like which are the different thing that you can apply like you can apply the load balancer you can apply the cache you can apply the sharding indexing proxy servers messaging queues you can apply the hashing so what you can apply at where that is very important point right so if you have if you know all this thing then it will be very easy for you so i would suggest that in case you haven't seen this video please see that video and we have also mentioned that whenever there is a system design question how would you what would be your approach right so that's why please see that video and you will have the more idea on the system design right because guys uh, i can't cover all these topics in a single video and that is why i am just giving the information that how you can prepare of that because like data structure is very important point so i don't want to just cover in short in this video so th that's what i am doing i will be putting one link and then you see that how you should prepare for the data structure similarly for the system design as well uh, i have given you the points that how you should prepare for the system design and then you will have the some more information on that right then it comes the low level design again for the low level design we have created one video so in that case like you will see uh, all the things that how we should approach a how we should approach a question uh, in the terms of low level design like first of all you would see okay whether uh, what are the requirements for that now we'll see that okay whether where if i can apply any design pattern that then i will have to uh, I, I will have to put all the components there right and then i have to put all the linking of these components that what will be the flow what would be the what would be my flow diagram what is my entity diagram similarly uh, what will be my database design to that so that's where we have covered all these topics in that video that how we should prepare for the low level design right so guys in our technical series in our technical playlist you will see all these good videos but according to company uh, according to company we have to prepare that so it means our main focus will be on the data structure then we have we should also uh, we should also see a little bit on the low level design and the system design if you have the more experience that is important part that if you have the more experience then definitely we sh uh, like you should see the system design and the low level design if you are the fresher if you have the like uh, only some or some years of experience then definitely you can go for the data structure only right now it comes the hiring manager round so hiring manager you know hiring manager takes the like it's kind of all rounder test hiring manager first of all takes the feedback from the previous round hiring manager checks okay how was the candidate now let's say if some interviewer is saying that okay candidate was good in coding but candidate was lacking in the system design then in this case hiring manager can focus on the system design as well right so the first part is that hiring manager takes feedback from the previous round and then hiring manager asks the question second part what hiring manager ask is about your about your current company or about your last project so basically let's say if you are working currently uh, in microsoft and then you are applying for the google then in this case what you are working currently in the microsoft what is your project and like uh, uh, what are your uh, what your contribution is so you have to tell about your project so that uh, like because why that hiring manager knows you that okay whether you are uh, exactly working there or not right or like how efficient you are in your current project so the chances are that if you are working here good similarly you would working here there as well right so that's what uh, hiring manager can ask about your current company as well about your last project that uh, what you are doing there then hiring manager can ask also ask about the behavioral questions as well right so behavioral questions are also very important part so again guys for the behavioral questions we have covered a very good video that how we should how we should prepare for the behavioral questions and behavioral questions are again very important round in google because in google i have seen a lot of feedback and 
you know every time they say that yes there was a uh, there was a round where they asked all these behavioral questions right so please prepare for this video before you going for the uh, google's interview and what are the questions they ask generally like why you want to join us what's the region of your job switches what is the most challenging work you have done so far where do you see yourself in 5 year did you have any confrontation with your manager lead or colleague so the point is that if you if you have already know this topics how you how you can answer then it will really help you in the uh, on your interview right so again for this we have created one video so please see that video of the behavioral questions because in one video we can't cover everything so that is why for the behavioral questions please see that video and you will get more information that how you should answer the behavioral questions uh, in the interview right and guys about the current company about the behavioral question it is not that only hiring manager can ask anyone can ask right like even the guy who is taking the coding round that can also ask about the uh, about the current company role about the uh, about your behavioral questions right so these are the most of the important round it happens in the google now in google it also happen the hr round now hr round is basically for the coordination like hr round hr basically start from the starting of the interview they basically you know uh, they they filter your uh, resume they see about you they discuss you they they will basically have all the panels and after that like they will keep on asking your your feedback like how was that and you know they so hr in google is basically everywhere with you right so you know i have seen many companies like many company hr comes always at the last but in google i have seen specifically that hr is always with you they will keep monitoring your situation time to time and at the last they will efficiently you know tell you okay what is your offer letter and all that stuff so hr is not like exit round like hr won't decide that uh, whether this candidate or not good or good hr generally takes feedback from all these people the hr will take feedback of all these people and then based on the based on the feedback of all these people then uh, they will decide that okay whether you are selected or not right so for all these videos i'll put it i'll put the video link in the description and then you can have the you can again see those videos you can prepare more on that and again you know like let's say if in interview someone asking you that hey please uh, like if you have any questions please ask me then definitely you should ask some of the small questions right you 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 can ask like okay what will be my role in google uh like which are the like on what technology google works like you can ask any generic questions right in which bu i will be there uh like like do i need any specific skill set there any question that is coming to your mind regarding that particular company that you can see and also it is also always advisable that if you are going for that particular interview like if you are going for the google's interview also have some little bit information on the google like who is the ceo and like you know some some basic information on the google so that's also you can uh, uh, like little bit search on the wiki so i guess yeah uh, that what it is for the google's interview in case uh, you have any doubts you have any questions please write in the comment section and then we can discuss it further I hope this video was good for your preparation. In case you have liked it, please like the video and please subscribe the channel for more such video. Thank you.